Hey everyone, it's Pastor Justin here coming to give you a preview of this Sunday. I hope that you'll join us at Grace at 9 a.m. or 10.30 a.m. or over at Covenant at 10 a.m. Friends, we are in this sermon series about cultivating thriving faith communities. What does it mean to live in a world of God's good news, of abundance, of flourishing, of thriving, of vibrancy? And what does that mean for our faith as we take it back out into the world? And so this Sunday, we're talking about risk-taking mission. Risk-taking mission. Do you realize that God asks us to have the kind of faith that puts our very selves on the line? That our faith isn't about our comfort. It's not about even our happiness. Okay? Instead, it's about joy and justice and significance and goodness and peace and love. Those kinds of things, friends, take courage. Those kinds of things take bravery. Those things are not about our comfortability. Risk taking mission. This week we're in this text here in Isaiah 58, and I love Isaiah 58. I've, I've loved it ever since I read this text for the first time as a teenager and realized, oh, this is the kind of faith, this is kind of worship, this is the kind of mission that God wants us to engage in in the world. And the prophet Isaiah is coming at the people and going, stop your fasting. Stop your rituals of humility. Stop these rituals of religion and do something real, friends. And he says this, is not this the fast that I choose? To loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the thongs of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house when you see the naked to cover them and to not hide yourself from your own kin? Then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help, and he will say, here I am. And that's just a little snippet of the text that we have for you for Sunday. But friends, all of those things put ourselves on the line. They take something from our life and say, you got to give it. Your bread, it's not just yours. Your home, not just yours. Your light, not just yours. Do you want God to come into your life and hear you and answer? Do something for someone else who is experiencing oppression, injustice, poverty, marginalization in this world. Find someone who's ignored and do something to see them and meet their needs. Friends, hope to see you on Sunday.